everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm still on the allergy struggle bus so sorry if my voice sounds a little goofy and scratchy and all that good stuff. But I thought today would be a fun day to test out the Plumpet Lip Plumper. Now I will tell you guys, um, I did try this out off camera and uh, it's an interesting product. So I thought why not do it live for you guys. Now you guys know I do mention pretty much all the time that I do have thinner, smaller lips. I do not get injections obviously. And I don't plan on getting injections. One, they're expensive. Two, they look painful as sin. And three, this is what God gave me, so I'm just going to embrace it, deal with it, and work around it or with it. You know, that kind of thing. So if you're interested to see how this $40 lip plumper works, then let's get started. Okay guys, so a little bit about this product. It is a $40 product. It does come from, I believe it was the UK is where I picked it up. It does uh, say that it is paraben free. You can pick it up at plumpet-it.com. And it does list the ingredients on here and all that good stuff. And it is, in case I forgot to mention, it does uh, last for six months. Now, the whole applicator, it does look like this, like slanted. You I don't know if you can see it or not. You do pump the product up. And I'm going to warn you guys right now. It, I've tried like, I think it's called lip injections or something like that by Too Faced. I'm looking over to see like if I have it handy. I don't see it handy. Is this it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, lip insurance. Well, this is a demi mitt. This is a lip primer. Okay, I don't have it handy. Um, anyways, and I don't honestly, I don't feel like that is painful or anything like that. I don't feel it. It tingles or really like, I honestly don't feel it like doing much. And I've never really noticed it doing much. Now, I know some people will say, oh my gosh, the Too Faced lip injections totally work. I saw a huge difference, and I've seen the before and after pictures. But for me, honestly, all the different companies that I have tried, at least in the United States, I haven't found one that actually truly, truly works, at least not for my lips, until I came across this one. Now, you're not going to notice, like, bee sting looking lip injected lips. You're not going to notice that, but you are going to notice a little bit of plumpness potentially a little bit of redness. Um, for some people, I think that this will be crazy painful and they're not going to be able to handle it depending on what your pain tolerance is. You can handle, like, um, if you're cutting jalapeno peppers and you, like, rub your lip or something like that and it stings, that's really what this truly reminds me of. Uh, my husband and I, we love spicy foods and things like that. And... So I feel like maybe that's why this doesn't bother me too much. But we're going to go ahead and get right into it. The first thing you're supposed to do is you can use like one of their lip masks. Um, they have like a whole set, but it was too expensive. But it was literally one of those moisturizing lip masks. that, And then you exfoliate. So I just have my Fresh Sugar Lip Polish. It's a gentle exfoliator. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick for you guys. Then I'm just going to wipe that away. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can see like the before and then you're going to see the after. Okay, so this is the before on my lips. So as you can see, you know, I do have a thinner upper lip. Um, I've actually had this product for uh, probably about a month and I started to film this video and then I'm like... I have to mentally prep for this because it is a stinging effect. What you do is you do apply this now and you leave it sit the entire time like you it's supposed to last a total I think it said 12 hours Let's see if it's on here oh no it says the ultimate voluminizing lip plumper up to 24 hours impact plumping I will tell you guys I don't feel like it lasts 24 hours uh, maybe about six hours but that could just be me too but it's lightweight fast absorbing colorless solution glides effortlessly to give a beautiful even plumping effect. A warm tingling sensation that subsides approximately after five minutes. I'm calling horse poo on that. It is going to be an annoying burn sensation. I do not recommend you try this if you have dry lips whatsoever, cracked lips. Um, potentially they might be dry but I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's put it this way. If you would not put a matte lipstick on your lips right now do not put this on because normally the reason you're not going to put a, um, a matte lipstick on is because your lips are just a little bit dry and it's going to look bad on your lips. 
Okay, this is gonna burn even worse if you have dry lips, just so you guys know. Um, it does subside after about five minutes and you can, um, it's gonna plump it. It says requiring no mixing and it is designed to be used as part of your everyday beauty routine. Now, I will tell you guys, it is an annoying burn. I, a tingle to me is just like something that is tolerable. This is a burn. This is gonna make you like potentially question your life and why you're doing this. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is a rubber tip so it's easy to glide over top your lips and things like that. I am going to pump it. There we go. So there it is on the tip. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is kind of like a cloudy color and we're going to go ahead and apply it all over starting with the top. Don't get outside your lip line. Immediately it starts to burn, annoyingly. Do not touch your eyes. If you get it on your fingers, wash your hands immediately. So I'm going to sit here so you guys can see the difference. And then after five minutes, I will tell you, um, it's not horrible, painful, but it's not a tingle. It definitely feels like your lips are burning. And I just got it on my tongue. So now my tongue is burning. Awesome. I'm gonna watch a little YouTube to get my mind off the burning because it's really this annoying, like I just wanna wipe it off kind of feeling. Okay, so we are at the five minute mark. I'm gonna stop this. And you guys will see, not only is it, um, originally it had more of like a gloss, a shine, and all that good stuff to it. It's gone, it like literally absorbs into your lips. You will notice that my lips are on the red side now. Um, you can do one of two things. You can cover this over with a little bit of concealer, foundation, or you can just kinda work with it to your advantage you can put a little bit of gloss over it what I am going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and line my lips apply some lipstick a little bit of lip gloss but you guys can see I'm, I'm going to sit still for a second and you guys are going to be able to see that it literally has plumped my lips now not to the uh, you know point of it looks like I have injections but there's a quite a bit of a noticeable difference in how bigger my lips look, you know? Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my typical color pop and this is a lip liner in the shade BFF. We're gonna go ahead and line our lips. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Big Bang lipstick. I love this, it's in the shade 11, but you pop this, it comes down, you pull it out, and you never have to worry about it falling out. This is like a really pretty, like mauve-y, metallic -y color, but I'll show you what I do, I love this. I'm not overlining my lips, I'm pretty much just following my natural line. This is a really nice creamy lipstick as well, guys. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Ultra Gloss. This is in the shade Moon Child. Yes, Moon Child. And I just apply that right in the center. And there you go. That is that. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys back out. By the way, guys, my earrings did come from Bearstone Creation. These are the Louis Vuitton inspired earrings. You can pick them up. I think they're like $17 or something. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyways, that is the Plumpet 
formula. I do think it works. I think if you can get over the burning feeling, it'll be fine. I think some people are going to be a bit more on the sensitive side to this. But um, if you can sit and tolerate it, I think that if I was just sitting here staring at the camera the entire time, I probably would have wiped it off. Um, but when I sit and I, I watch YouTube or I go and I clean and things like that, you do see a difference. Now, like I said, you're going to see your lips turn a bit on the red side. Um, I haven't had it, like any type of allergic reaction or anything like that to this formula. This was not the first time that I've used it. I've probably used it about four times. I do recommend it. It is on the pricey side. Um, but, you know, for an evening out or something like that, I think this works great this is something you can use every day as well like I said it is a bit on the pricey side I will leave down below their website where you can pick this up if you are interested in it but I think that this is a great alternative if you want to kind of plump your lips a little bit but you don't have the funds or you just don't want to get the lip fillers so that's all for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to hit that like button down below as well as if you would like to see more of my content please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell right next to it that way you'll be notified every time that I upload a video which by the way is five days a week so until next time my friends as always I hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day kisses from Kentucky bye